What's up everybody, Blaze Jedi here, and welcome back to another episode of Ace Combat 7. The mods are updated, the planes are ready, let's go sink a sub. The Erujan military finally sent part of the Alicorn specs. Its basic capabilities listed here were as we predicted. What's interesting is this over here. In addition to main guns, they have a 600mm, 128 caliber rail cannon. The barrel exceeds 70 meters. Its range is over 3,000 kilometers. That matches what we calculated from the bombardment on Anchorhead Bay. The mini nuke they seem to have obtained has a yield of one kiloton. It'll destroy anything within a 400 meter radius of ground zero. Casualties are to be in the tens of thousands. I know some things are better left unsaid, but let me say it. That's less damage than I expected. Nice catch. Do you remember this speech? This boat had the means to end this hideous war in a definitive and elegant manner. The world shall be horrified by the number of lives we will take. Only then will they let go of their weapons. Weapons that would have taken the lives of 10 million. The imagery invoked by those words and the actual predicted damage just don't match. So here's a question. <laughs> Sorry. Got no quizzes for you today. They will launch the nuke on September 19th. Why are you so sure? Because that's the anniversary of the end of the Continental War. Anti-war demonstrations and victory parades are in full swing in Ulred. There's about a million participants in total. That number will rise on the anniversary. <sighs> However, this nuke isn't that powerful. They'd have to thread through the eye of a needle to achieve their desired result. Terminal guidance would be needed. Right. How do they intend to achieve it when even GPS won't work? You're all thinking too much. If we sink the submarine, it's problem solved. Crude, but effective. <laughs> Crude? All right, look at this. The Alicorn's expected course. We know it was off Anchorhead Bay, and it has to get to Ored within range before September 19th. They must avoid being detected by Osea, its allies' sound surveillance system and ships. Taking into account its maximum operating depth, this is the only possible route. The Alicorn will move along the Azalea Seamount chain and reach a rather blandly named body of water called PX-80443. The waters here are shallow due to an undersea mountain range and nearby islands. This is where it'll be. We also know roughly when they'll arrive in the area. Quite the prediction you had. Indeed, but if it makes it through, then you're looking at Peony Trench. The sub's max operating depth is 600 meters. Tracking it would be impossible. Right. Now I'm gonna give you the mission details, so listen up. Our mission is to cooperate with the patrol aircraft to find the Alicorn. In the first phase of the mission, multiple patrol aircraft will drop sono buoys to build a sono buoy barrier. Then, in the second phase, we narrow down the possible location of the Alicorn by analyzing the data obtained from the sono buoys. The results of our analysis will be data linked and shown on an overlay on your radars. And for the final phase, Trigger, you're gonna look for the submarine. We acquired one special MAD, a magnetic anomaly detector, for this. It will be on Trigger's play. Fly over where we expect the Alicorn might be. If the submarine is right beneath you, your MAD will detect it. You'll also have nautical charts on your radars, so use them. Once it's found, our fleet will commence a unified attack with Asrox and sink it. And if we miss? Four ships will be joining the operation. There won't be a second salvo. So who's flying, Wiseman? Everyone except myself. Oh. This is in order. Now get your fat asses moving. Alrighty then, and it's time for my favorite part of the video, aircraft selection time. And today, we have a recommendation from El Lord Tevis himself. We're going to be flying the F-4 Phantom. Which is probably not the best choice for this mission. But, we're taking it anyway. Does it? Oh, it has Sasms. Okay. Do I want mm, do I want these or do I want bombs for the alicorn? Or I could take the long range missiles. What would be these 
what would these be, like, IRL? Like, essentially, anti-radiation missiles? Um... Fuck it. We'll take, we'll take some unguided bombs. Now, of course, we always live stream these uh, recordings over on my Twitch. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, go ahead and follow in the link in the description below. Uh, Gadfleet from chat says, still one of the best looking aircraft. Yeah, I like this aircraft a lot. This is a weird ass paint. I think this texture pack is fucked. Okay, so all the skins for this aircraft are broken except the Osea skin. So we're just going to pop into this bad boy and go from there. <laughs> what do I want? Because this aircraft is not the best in terms of stats. Um, I guess we're just going to stick with what we know and maybe add in a little more maneuverability this time around. Now, what do I want for weapons? Um... I think 18 bombs should be- we could carry 34 bombs? Is that double? Is that a little less than double? Holy crap! Let's get high explosive charge. We will get... more mi- I- this only carries 86 missiles. This is on ace, what the hell? <laughs> I, I guess we're gonna get a more powerful gun. Uh... Okay, Tevis, you're really handicapping me here. All right, without without further ado, let's fly. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. All right, so I haven't flown this aircraft since Ace Combat 5, so... Oh, I guess Ace Combat 4, too. So let's, uh, let's have some fun. This aircraft might not be able to do this mission. At least not with the way I have the game set up at the moment. I have no doubt this aircraft can do this, but... I, I missed it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're almost out of time. Come on, Trigger. Find them for us. It's literally right here. Oh, I'm gonna mission fail when I'm right on top of it. We're calling off the mission. That's crazy. It's literally right here. It's right here. This is where it is. We can only cross our fingers and pray. Strider, Cyclops, Spectre, all aircraft retreat. It's right here. Oh, that's so stupid. As you know, guys, we reset from the beginning okay that's frustrating so i was right on top of it like where it should have been and it mission failed me um unfortunately with this aircraft i do have to like maintain speed to dodge um because it is it is just it's not maneuverable at slow speeds in this game okay well that's okay you know it happens those aren't the sort of calculations we like, are they, Trigger? Chances are, if you're watching this overhead on YouTube, um, I've only showed you the beginning and the end and not the the, the hamburger, as Longcaster would like to say of that episode, or that mission run. Uh, that's unfortunate, but it's okay. Understood. Understood. Roger. Understood. I forget that these count as like boss aircraft and it's three missiles to kill them. Yeah, so you, a problem Ace Combat has when it comes to its its missions is a bit of power creep, especially when it comes to the older, uh, older, you know, the the less modern aircraft. I guess I would say. I'm struggling here. That Raphael is uh, way more advanced than this thing. Right. Now the one thing, uh, the one thing about this F4 Phantom is that it's fast for for one of the 
starter aircraft, it is fast in a straight line, which makes it great for getting around. The problem, though, is that it doesn't really have the loadout to combat the the modern aircraft. Are you shitting me? Like, look at this. <laughs> it's rough. And it's not like that thing's making really aggressive uh, maneuvers either. Tevis go. Of course, guys, we do live stream this over on Twitch. So if you ever want to see these live recordings, go ahead and follow the link down in the description below. Uh, Tevis goes. It's not about the. It's not the plane. It's the pilot, Mav. No, fuck off. It's a hundred percent the plane. <laughs> I'm going to be super real, and I think most people will agree with me. I'm an F-14 diehard, but you're, you're, you're putting the F-14 against an equivalent, or what's supposed to be the equivalent of, of the Eastern F-22. Of course, guys, we're talking about the Su-57, the, the plane that doesn't actually exist. And if you know why that's funny, we could be friends. Um... No, yeah, no, no. Not happening. That F-14 would be dead. Exploded. <laughs> and then their ejection seat doesn't work? Like, that whole scene was just like, oh, okay. But probably one of the best scenes in cinema in the past, like, ten years. Um, holy crap, was it just like, uh, you feel the stress and tension in that moment for Mav and, um... And Rooster. What kind of guns did the F4 Phantom have? Were they using 20 millimeter at that point, or was it still like essentially just you know beefed up 50 cal rounds? Oh, that was a good missile. We're doing significantly better this time around too, in terms of the air combat. Um, I've kind of gotten used to the F4's weakness. It is such a pretty aircraft. Get fleet system chat. Vulcan 20 millimeter. Okay, okay. So they were using. We're detecting additional UAVs. Intercept them. Go back underwater where you came from. Do 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 do. Locked on. Locked on. Missile coming at me. Required lock on bandit. Firing. Jesus, those things just got bullied. My biggest issue is, is that as, as much as I love this aircraft, it's not exactly the most maneuverable, and I feel like I'm going to slam into the water at Mach 2. This is about the same place we were last time. The AI is doing a, a a much worse job than they were last time at clearing out these UAVs. This is ridiculous. <laughs> the AI are doing much worse. It's funny cuz I'm doing better. Confirming new hostiles. Oh, this is bad. We're probably going to fail this mission slowly based on speed here. Come on, focus on me, bloody bastards. I might need to switch special weapons. I might need to go to the SASM. I think the bombs were the wrong choice. Roger that. Displaying the search area on your radar map. The Alicorn 
somewhere inside that ring. Oh shit. Oh, that was dangerous. Do you see the waveform indicator above your HUD? Fly over the search area and look for a location that induces a change in the waveform. Oh, come on. All aircraft except Trigger. You're on contingent combat air patrol. Trigger, check the nautical chart on your Okay, note to well. self. Next time I try this, if I fail, waters. we're bringing uh, any an anti-air load out. Go, Trigger. Leave these chumps to us. Function at high speeds. Fly slower than 800 kilometers an hour. The submarine may be huge, but it's still going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Okay, Trigger. Your MAD's getting something. The waveform on your HUD should have peaked. Turn and fly in the direction where the waveform peaks. Trigger, your MAD is showing a stronger reaction. The Alicorn must be near. You've set the hook. Now you just have to reel it in. Come on, Sharky. Where are ya? Picking up a magnetic signature. Signature lost. Okay, cool. Noise in the MAD signal. Yeah, so I think I think the bombs were the wrong choice. Um That's okay. I don't have a window, so I don't know about buoys, but I'm detecting strong radio sources. Correct. That's it. Sending the location of the jamming devices. Destroy them. So the reason I say I brought the wrong loadout is because I think the anti-air component of this mission is significantly harder than the actual attacking of the submarine. Um, so I think I, I just I brought the wrong missiles, basically. Um, I should have brought actual missiles and not bombs. Um, me being silly thinking that, oh yeah, I could just, you know, do the ground pound side of this and the AI can handle it. No, no, that's not. That's <laughs> that's not the case. The AI is not smart in this game. Like uh, like Ace Combat 6's AI was. Oh man, they were amazing. Well? Hey, you okay? Analysis done. Data linking. Its location has moved. Trigger. I'm sending you the search area. Don't let it get away. The Alicorn has almost reached the trench. Time's running out. Hurry. It's okay. Missile. Trigger's already on the hunt. Missile. Confirming more hostile Missile. UAVs. They just launched Missile. from the Alicorn. You can launch them underwater? If you can splash even one, it'll be that much easier for Trigger. Strider, Cyclops, we don't have much time left. Don't you worry, Trigger will find it. Double time at Trigger. Count them. Come on, guys. You reeled it in. Positive hit on the MAD. That's it. Strider 1 found the submarine Alicorn. Had to dump a ton of flares, but we did it. Ready for launch. Line of fire is clear. Ready. Fire all missiles! Fire! Davis, you've given me a curveball with this aircraft. <laughs> all anti submarine missiles launched. Like, holy crap, am I fighting for my life? Report the results. Like the first time seeing the Rim Faxi or the Sin Faxi. I forget which one came first. Trigger. 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 Trigger.
it's got like X Sams or something on it, right? Oh, did I just drop flares by accident? Whoops. You're being locked onto by the rail guns. Increase your speed and run, trigger. If one of those rail guns hits us, we'll be torn into a million pieces. They'll be looking for aircraft as well. Don't flutter about. Throttle up! Alicorn fired its rail guns. It's using its main guns for anti-air combat. There's no dodging once it's fired. Avoid its line of fire. I don't know if these bombs are actually doing anything. Missile is. There it is. That's dead. The alicorn has surfaced. Commence assault. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yep, yeah, game. I I know. Alicorn has launched aircraft. That's a real skill there. They've got serious guns to take off right now. Guns, they're just damn crazy. You destroyed all of the SAM sites. Yes, sir! <laughs> that is a lie. Flying objects have been launched from the Alicorn. They have different signatures from the UAVs we've seen. I wouldn't be surprised by anything at this point. Stay sharp. Small UAVs have activated each oh. barrier. Oh. Yeah, those things do a ton of damage to you. The hardest part's gonna be the actual airstrike on the the main gun. Really? Are those missiles all missed? I should have put on the enhanced tracking module. Here's a question. Was 
your plan elegant? The answer is yes. <sighs> At least until three strikes ruined it. What do you know of beauty? That's cool that that railgun no sits flush with surrender. the hull, though. Stop it's really the cool. Hit the barrel trigger. Hurry. Do it, trigger. Gotcha. This aircraft might not be fast enough. I missed. The Alicorn has fired the round. This I don't think this aircraft is gonna be fast enough, chat. I may have to re-record this with a different build. We're just going to reset from the checkpoint, because I'm not doing the whole mission again. This aircraft is going to be... Okay, so this, this aircraft is, I don't think, fast enough to get in and out. Okay. I had to fly through and take damage, but we got it. I thought I would've got it, but apparently I didn't. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna have to throw a missile in it. Whoa! I should've died. This aircraft was not the right pick. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was not fun. That was difficult. That was very difficult. Did not enjoy. Okay, so like Captain Mateus Torres was a devil incarnate. But there are others. I'm going to rebuild this to this F4 build because I kind of want it to be. All, I just noticed. Look at the butt, guys. There's a smiley face. I'll zoom in, but look, there's a smiley face right there. Um, 
question. I'm going to be rebuilding this aircraft with different bits and seeing if I could score a higher uh, higher score on this mission. Uh, it'll be a it'll be a bonus episode because this was frustrating, and I know I can do it better. Oh man, finally time for some munchies. Could you hand me the burger over there? Oh, and the knife and fork too, please. Once I get back to base, I'm heading to the mess hall. Operation is complete. Can we celebrate now? Yeah, good work. Yeah! <laughs> yeah Your next mission's in 32 hours. Whoa. Not something I tell my son about. Give me a break. Cool. We did get the B rank. Uh, it's probably just because we had to use a checkpoint reset. Let's be honest here. Um, that was fun. That was challenging. I, I very much did not like the challenge that this aircraft posed to me. But definitely a fun, fun aircraft choice, Mr. Lord Tevis. Uh, thank you for the kick in the face because... I guess I was just having too easy of a time with all the other missions. <laughs> uh, there will definitely be a follow-up episode to this. I will be rebuilding this aircraft for this mission specifically because now I'm frustrated and on a mission. So, hey, if you guys have any aircraft recommendations, leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this content, you know what to do. So until next time, everybody, fly safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, party people.